Well, our next guest here is the founder and the CEO of Abbey, which is a growing embedded finance platform in the MENAP region. He's got over 10 years of experience in the financial sector. He's previously held some big positions of the portfolio manager and the investment analyst at Morgan and Stanley in New York City. But he's uh, since moved here permanently with his family last year. And he's uh, here to give us a bit of an insight and an overview of Abbey and its primary mission in the fintech centre. Omar Ansari, thank you very much for coming in to join Kitchen Neil this afternoon. Thanks for having me on. It's great great to have you here. Uh, the idea about to, for, for your company, Abby, where did it come about? So um, background is you, you saw my career history. And so for the latter half of it, I was very much focused on emerging markets and companies focusing on financial inclusion has a uh, very broad spec. If you look at across emerging markets, the rich get richer, the poor tend to get poorer. Uh, and there doesn't tend to be much credit availability for those who ne really need it. And so we were investing a lot of companies doing this across India, Brazil, China, et cetera. And uh, yeah, in the latter half of my career, I was like, well, I've seen this happen before in places like Brazil, which, or, or places very similar to UAE, Pakistan, Bangladesh, where we're live right now. I was like, why is no one else doing it over here? And so that's really the genesis of the idea behind it. Uh, and Abi as a company basically means now in, in Hindi, Urdu, uh, and a few other dialects. And, and that's essentially our mantra. We come in and we help businesses and their employees access financing now. So what is the core financial solution that Abi provides? So a big problem, so unlike the U.S. or parts of Europe where salaries are tend to, to be deployed, say, biweekly, so mm -hmm. you're paid every two weeks, uh, some places a little bit more frequent, but most of the, most of the time in, in emerging markets, uh, salaries are paid out every 30 days. Right. Uh, but in places like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, here, sometimes that's get elongated. So mm -hmm. it can go up to like 40 days, 50 days. Uh, and that's because of a cash flow issue typically with the company. So what we do is we come in and we basically allow the employees who are typically living paycheck to paycheck. Right. Uh, inflation is a big problem, especially right now, as everyone knows. We essentially allow them to say, look, if you've worked today, mm -hmm. you essentially deserve to be paid today. Fair. So we tie in and we basically allow the employee base through our app. So we have a app service. We have a WhatsApp feature. We tie in with your company. You as an employee, if you're earning, say, 10,000 dirhams a month, middle of the month, you've earned 5,000, but you have to wait mm -hmm. another 15 days to get paid or whatever it is. Right. So you say, don't wait. Just open up the app. You'll be able to see how much you've earned so far, and you'll be able to take out some of that immediately. So you don't have to pay late fees or go into predatory lending or any other form of debt that typically can hamper you. So that's... That's essentially our proposition. So, so therefore, do you say that are your customers the employees or are they the company themselves? So we're B2B to C. So we go through the business and allow it as a perk for their employee base. So the employees would be able to say, okay, I work for XYZ company uh, and uh, you'd be able to avail this as a service. It's almost like yeah, a, simply a perk, an HR perk. And, and therefore, who's paying for the service? Is it the employees or, or are the companies paying you for the service? So it depends on how benevolent the employer is. <laughs> so we have some employers that take up the entire fee and the fee is very minimal. It's like an ATM transaction. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, what it is, it's typically free for the employer and the employee pays a transaction fee. And that's it. So where does the money come from? Is the employer paying you an X amount as, as like a safety uh, payout bundle uh, from which you then pay to the employee or is it coming out from your pockets it and then you take us. it from the employer? It comes from us. So Fair. it comes from our balance sheet directly or we tie up with a few banks or provide us a balance mm -hmm. sheet. Uh, and then end of the month when salary is dispersed, Basically, say you took out 2,000 dirhams, that 2,000 plus a fee would be deducted from your salary, and, and the rest goes to them. Th there's no interest? No interest. This is incredible. I mean, because uh, we, we know that, you know, people who live, uh, like you mentioned, paycheck to paycheck with not too much savings, suddenly there is an, you know, an additional expense that comes through, which is unplanned for uh, right in the center of the month. You know, your car breaks down. You know, three thousand dirhams totally. is is your bill, and and you, you at that point in time probably looking for now. How quickly does the transaction happen in that case? So the moment you click on it and you say uh, I want it, uh, we rely on the the rails over here. But over here, it takes about an hour uh, typically for it to wow. be sent to your account. Uh, the reason why we call it Abi is because other places actually the rails are a bit faster. So in Bangladesh mm -hmm. and Pakistan, for example, it's within twenty seconds. So majority of our transactions actually by people who need it. Uh, after work, so mm -hmm. it's typically our peak period is between 6 p.m. till 3 a.m. Okay, uh, because random emergencies will come up and True. you need need cash, and so so yeah, that's typically 
how, how long it takes you to build. And generally, when you get access to these wages, what is the maximum people can, can borrow against? So we do maximum 50% of your earned wages. So, okay, so, so it is capped. It's it not going to be like a credit card where you no. can go way up into a limit that you're never going to be able to repay. No, up. exactly. And that's where it's this global movement now. So there are a lot of like large companies globally in the US. Europe's so one of the largest is uh, called WageStream, for example. And the founder is one of our investors. Uh, and the whole concept is it being not putting you in a debt trap. In fact, what people are using it for is to be able to pay off other debts. So in mm -hmm. the U.S., for example, people use it to be able to pay off their credit card fees. So like why have a, I'm basically caught in a debt trap. I'm paying whatever, 45% APR on this. Let me take my wages out early and pay off that so I don't get caught in that. Same thing in Europe, same thing in other places. Yeah, and, and, and this is great for a lot of people who have an emergency or a lot of people like me that have a girlfriend that want to go to Lake Como. So, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, maybe I've just come back, so maybe I need to give you a call at, at some point. Um, on, a, on a serious note, uh, looking at the, the earned wage access, um, is, is it indicative of of the the financial situation of the country or certain or certain companies i mean are you able to kind of get an insight to oh maybe there are some companies here that aren't quite looking after their employees they probably should yeah for sure i mean and to be honest if, and that's where our other side of the business steps in right so we have earned wage access and mm -hmm. then we launched with that uh, about two and a half years ago and then we quickly stepped into the working capital financing as well of companies because the reality was when we went to, so you look at majority of these countries, about 80% of GDP comes from SMEs, small, medium-sized companies, right. right? These companies tend to have pretty poor cash flow situation because they don't get paid on time. So they'll be a supplier into a large company. Companies like, thank you for delivering that. We'll pay in 45 days. Like, hold on. I just delivered everything. I paid for it all. Right. I'm not going to pay 45 days. So we said, okay, well, we'll come in and we'll support you from supporting your cash flow. And so what it is is exactly as you said. We, we've been able to nail companies as well that don't pay on time, but it's not because they don't want to. It's because they just can't. Yeah. So we say, look, don't worry about it. We'll make sure, one, your payroll goes exactly on time, and two, that your employees are happy and satisfied. Because otherwise, you tend to have, and that's why it's called financial wellness in a sense, because if you are financially worried, then you will not perform at your job function at all because you'd be worried about numerous things. And so that's kind of where we step in. So, you know, for, from a business perspective, uh, it sounds like a perfect plan. You tie up with the employer, the employees are synced in. But because it's a financial transaction that you're talking about, does the legislation also come into play with government bodies signing off? And, and you're talking about countries, you're not talking about, you know, one or two employers, you're talking about the entire country entering into Pakistan and try entering into Bangladesh. Yeah. You know, it, it is definitely not easy. UAE from that a governmental perspective is very streamlined that, okay, you, there are these forms that you need to fill, you need to have these licenses and you're good to go. How was it to break it down in Bangladesh, Pakistan and now in UAE? Not easy. I mean, uh, we launched yet yeah, two and a half years ago. Knock on wood, it's been a, I mean, a difficult but mm -hmm. fun journey. We now have over a million users uh, wow. across our geographies, uh, over 1,500 companies, uh, UAE. Um, look, I mean, we are now the only licensed player in the UAE. So we went to the central bank, even though it's not considered a regulated activity, mm -hmm. but in emerging markets, you tend to have to go and say, hey, can you allow us to do this? So yeah, we're the only uh, authorized uh, entity in the UAE to be able to do this now. So f fintech is growing, right? And fintech is growing like like, like literally wildfire, you know, with, with different variants of everything. Uh, how does then one think that this is where I am right now and then branching out into something which could be similar or completely opposite to what they're doing? Totally. I mean, we... We're adding other product lines alongside mm -hmm. of what we're doing, which also benefit people. So, for example, over here, we, we depending on the geography, we'll we'll tailor it a little bit different. So, over here, if you look at majority of people who use our product, like I said, the gray, blue collar worker, right. etc., even some of the white collar workers, they're all migrant workers, right? They True. send home ninety percent of their money. Yeah. So, we've created the term "send now, pay later." Mm -hmm. So, don't wait till the end of the month for you to send your money back home to your family. You can actually do it as you earn it. Okay. So, uh, things like that are ways we're just trying to diversify the product a little bit so that it kind of appeases towards uh, the crowd. But you're right, you, you can constantly add other areas once you have a user base. So uh, yeah, kind of I, th I think you're so right. As someone who works, you know, near myself, like a lot of people, uh, you know, have 
side hustles, gig economy for, and, and then I don't, I can't tell you how many times I've hosted an event for someone. And then when you go to the events company and you say, Hey, it's been 90, 120, 150 days, where's the money? <laughs> and they claim they're still waiting for the money and who claim are they're still waiting for the money. And this country's always, you know, there's so many amazing things about it. But one of the hard things is economically chasing up those, there's not like a small claims court. There's nowhere, no real opportunity. And you're actually providing a platform for a lot of people to circumnavigate those problems. Exactly. That's kind of our, our mind. And yeah, we try to fix at least. Well, if, if you want to get in touch, uh, the website abhi abby.ie is there an opportunity for people to maybe uh, contact you, request the demo, get more information? Yeah, hundred like percent. So yeah. they can contact me directly, um, and uh, you can go on the website. You can click request a demo, and our team will be in contact with you hopefully in under thirty minutes. That's our mantra, <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, it. So I, yeah. I think you're on with a winner here. This seems like a great service. You can uh, see the website. It's abby dot uh, he. Ami and Sari, congratulations on your work. Thank you so much. And launching this, it's the founder and the CEO of Abby. Is this something you'd want to be a part of or you'd like to use? Let us know. Zero five eight six eight six one zero.